answer this question because it happens that while we're sitting here in Singapore on Saturday I'm flying back to Los Angeles and I'm going to Pasadena to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and I'm going to go into the control center at JPL and I'm going to participate in the landing of a robot on the North Pole of Mars on Sunday afternoon. That robot is carrying communication protocols which eventually will lead to the interplanetary extension of the internet. So the honest to God answer is the internet's going off planet. Uh, now maybe we should answer this in the context of what's happening terrestrially because the, <coughs> the Martians are you know a small market right now. Um, what's happening on, uh, to the internet terrestrially is pretty clear. One, it's more mobile so more and more of it will be accessible through mobile devices. Second, it's higher speed. And so more and more people will have direct access to broadband resources. And that will translate into some very interesting video-related uh, kinds of opportunities. Which brings me to one other point that I feel compelled to make. Uh, you hear people talk about IPTV. And they usually mean streaming video when, you, when they say that. I think that that is a very brief intermediate stop in a much more interesting journey. If you look at what people do with iPods today, they download music faster than they can listen to it. When we get to gigabit per second internet services, you'll be able to download an entire hour's worth of video in 16 seconds. Now what's more important is that what you download is not just the audio and the video. Yeah, just like when you get a DVD and it has extra you know, parts on it, the extras are not just uh, audio and video. Sometimes it's a book, sometimes it's the biography of the actors and the actresses, sometimes it's other ancillary material. It might even be a program that's associated, a software program or a game that's associated with the movie or entertainment. So when we download stuff off the internet, because the network doesn't know what it's carrying, you can download anything, anything that's digitizable. So it could be the video and the audio and the games and the textbooks and all these other things. <clears throat> now, it's, and including advertising material. Now, one of the things we've learned about online advertising is that consumers want to be in control of the advertising information that they are exposed to. They don't like being forced to see an ad, and particularly they don't like it when it's a, it's a temporal inter, interruption. So the action is moving along, somebody's about to get shot, and we take a brief moment to give you an important commercial message. Grrr, fast forward. Now, you know about product placement. You know that people pay to have their products visible in the scene. When we start getting smart television sets that are using software to interpret the stuff we just downloaded, there, there's no problem mousing around on the screen and highlighting a product and clicking on it. And you can just imagine, you know, there's an Apple logo in the middle of the screen because there's a laptop in the scene. You click on that, a window opens up. Gee, I see you're interested in this uh, Apple laptop. This is model so-and-so. It costs this amount of money. Uh, oh, I notice that you're online right now on the net. Click here. Uh, there are six of those in inventory at the store that's six blocks down the way. Would you like to buy one now? Click here suddenly we have a very interactive environment for the consumer and it's the consumer's decision and choice to look at the advertising information as opposed to our forcing it on him or her. So I get very excited about that because this is a whole new domain of presenting information to consumers in a context in which they initiate the interest in it. And that's what we want. We don't want customers who don't want our products. We want customers who are interested in our products. And so this just opens up another avenue for having this dialogue with consumers who are looking for information.